Welcome to today's presentation, What You Need to Know About the Zika Virus. My name is Diane Matthew Brown. I'm a health and safety specialist in the Department of Research and Collective Bargaining Services. This presentation is intended strictly for the educational purposes for the benefit of the participants. It is not intended to provide medical advice or diagnosis. All images were found on public websites or credited. We'll begin with Zika basics. Zika is a disease that is spread primarily through the bite of an aedes species mosquito infected with the Zika virus. There are two species that we are concerned about, the Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. Many people infected with the Zika virus won't have symptoms or will have only very mild symptoms. Most folks don't show any symptoms at all. This allows the spread of Zika virus and hinders detection efforts. The Zika infection symptoms are fever, rash, joint pain, and conjunctivitis, or redness of the eyes. Diagnosis of Zika is based strictly on the person's recent travel history, symptoms, and results of blood tests. A blood test is the only way to confirm a Zika infection, and right now, only pregnant women are encouraged to get tested. Zika infection can be sexually transmitted. In fact, it is the only known mosquito-borne infection that can be sexually transmitted. It may lead to birth defects, including microcephaly or an unusually small brain. There have been a high number of infections in Puerto Rico and one death. This is a map as of August 3rd, 2016, of where Zika is found in the United States. Um, Zika virus um, disease and Zika virus congenital infection are nationally notifiable conditions. In the United States, the locally acquired mosquito-borne cases have risen to 22 due to the recent increase in Florida. Travel-associated cases were 1,818, and there's been one case that was laboratory acquired. There's been at least 16 known sexually transmitted cases, and of Guillain-Barre Syndrome 5. Guillain-Barre syndrome is a disorder in which your body's immune system attacks your nerves. It causes weakness and tingling in your extremities and is usually the first symptoms. These sens sensations can quickly spread and eventually paralyzing your whole body. It is one of the um, side effects and complications of Zika infection. In the U.S. territories, Locally acquired cases now number 5,525, with the vast majority of these being in Puerto Rico. The total number of 5,548 and with complications in 18 known persons. Puerto Rico by themselves has over 4,666 cases and only 18 of those were travel associated. Our next slide is, uh, shows the mosquito range. So Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus are both common mosquitoes in the United States. Because as you can see, aegypti pretty much stays to the southern part, but it goes from coast to coast. But albopictus, in fact, can go as far as into New York and even into New England. How bad Zika will spread this summer is unknown. The Asian tiger or albopictus mosquito can survive harsh winters, and it is the most common mosquito found in the Northeast. Egypti uh, generally does not like the cold, but has become very adept to being in urban areas and so adapts very easily to the urban environment. This is the world view of where Zika is now, and again, for the most part, it has been in the Southern Hemisphere. As we know about the Olympics in Rio, there's great concern about Zika being active in that part of the world right now. And many athletes, in fact, decided not to attend during the concerns because of Zika. So we'll go on to how Zika is treated. Unfortunately, there is no specific medicine or vaccine for Zika virus. We can only treat the symptoms and give supportive care. A ready-to-use vaccine for Zika this year is probably not possible. So how do we treat Zika? Well, we treat the symptoms. We have folks rest, drink fluids to prevent dehydration, and take acetaminophen to reduce fever and pain. Because of the link to uh, Gia 
Fulry syndrome, we advise that no one take aspirin when, have, when contracting the Zika virus. How does Zika affect pregnancy? The Zika virus can pass from a pregnant woman to her fetus during pregnancy around the time of birth. Zika infection in pregnancy is related to microcephaly and other severe fetal brain defects. Microcephaly is a birth defect in which the baby's head is smaller than expected when compared to babies of the same sex and age. Previous infection does not affect future pregnancies. Right now, the CDC is monitoring nearly 1,000 pregnant women for Zika virus. Continuing. Other problems have been detected in pregnancies among fetuses and infants infected with the Zika virus before birth. Scientists are now studying other health problems that Zika virus infection could cause, and new evidence suggests that Zika may affect the joint of developing babies. And unfortunately, Zika virus has claimed the life of a Texas baby. The baby had microcephaly and died soon after birth. We have some additional information for recommendations for pregnant women. So the first link gives you additional information on preg for pregnant women and recommendations for families who would like to speak to someone about a possible Zika virus infection or diagnosis during pregnancy and risk to the baby. There is a special website, mother to baby at mothertobaby.org backslash news dash press backslash Zika dash virus dash pregnancy dash answers backslash or you can call 1-866-626-6847 or you can also text 855-999-2525. Women who are pregnant are advised to talk to their doctor about being included on the pregnancy registry. The doctor has to place you on that registry. The website is included on the slide. Do your homework before traveling. If you are pregnant or trying to get pregnant, do not travel to areas with Zika. If you must travel, talk to your doctor or health care provider before your trip. If you choose to travel, strictly follow the steps to prevent mosquito bites to protect yourself and your family. Even if you don't feel sick, travelers returning to the United States from an area with Zika should take steps to prevent mosquito bites for at least three weeks so they do not spread Zika to uninfected mosquitoes. You can check out the CDC's Traveler webpage for more information. I'm going to talk about prevention of infection. We use Integrated Pest Management, or IPM, to prevent infections from mosquito-borne um, viruses and bacteria. What does IPM include? This includes conducting mosquito surveillance. Do we have mosquitoes in the area that carry the virus? This requires setting up and monitoring of mosquito traps. We also then remove places where mosquitoes lay eggs. So mosquitoes need to have quiet water in order to lay the eggs. We, so the, one of the best things we can do is get rid of standing water. We can also control young mosquitoes when they're in the larva stage using larvicides. It's much easier to kill mosquito before they can fly. And we can also control adult mosquitoes using foggers by hand, from trucks, or by airplane. Spraying has begun in Florida to control the increased number of Zika infections found there. More on prevention. Tip, pour, or toss. Prevent standing water in containers, including tires. Everyone can play a part in controlling mosquitoes. Once a week, empty and scrub, turn over, cover, or throw out items that hold water. Again, mosquitoes lay eggs near water, and that larvae can, are in the water for up to seven days. You can tightly cover ward storage containers, such as buckets, cisterns, or rain barrels, so that mosquitoes cannot get inside to lay the eggs. If you have a septic tank, repair cracks and gaps. 
use and repair screens or mosquito nets. Prevent mosquitoes from coming into the home. Wear long sleeve clothing and use condoms. Zika virus can be spread by a man infected with Zika to his partners. In known cases of sexual transmission, the men had Zika symptoms. For these cases, we know the virus can be spread when the man has symptoms before symptoms start and after symptoms end. The virus can stay in semen longer than it does in blood. Preventing mosquito bites. Treat clothing and gear. Use permethrin to treat clothing or buy a permethrin treated clothing and gear. Read product information to find out how long the protection will last. The more often you wash it, the less protection you will have. Use an EPA registered insect repellent. You want to use a repellent with either DEET, Picaridin, or IR535, that is the active ingredient in Avon Skin So Soft, or oil of le lemon eucalyptus, or a paramethane doll type of repellent. DEET is safe for adults and children. For babies, do not use insect repellents on babies younger than two months old. Do not use products containing oil of lemon eucalyptus or paramethane idol on children younger than three years old. So we've included several sources for you. Um, Hesperian has several health guides on all kinds of mosquito-borne illnesses, and there are multiple languages. So I highly recommend checking out the Hesperian Health Guides website. CDC has an amazing amount of information out there right now in multiple languages. The main web page is the Zika topic page. There's also a website for the risk assessment for your state. Each state was given a uh, risk assessment plan to how to counter Zika infection. And last but not least, OSHA has guidance for workers how to fight um, Zika bites or mosquito bites and Zika infection while you're at work. This concludes our short presentation on Zika infection. We hope you enjoyed today's presentation.